Why, hello. I didn't see you there. Why, hello. I didn't see you there. It's so early. I thought I was going to film this on the rooftop terrace, but it's actually close, so. You. Hey, you. Ah, yes, you. Ooh. I've been living here in Barcelona for the past five and a half years and I've definitely seen a lot of what's offer here in Catalonia. Today we're going to be talking about the 20 something best day trips in Barcelona. If you're planning a trip to Catalonia's capital city, then this is definitely the video for you. Better yet, it's all affordable and everything is accessible by public transport. Let's get right into it. Woo! Ah! Number one, Catalan Pyrenees. Obviously the Pyrenees is shared with Andorra and France as well. Whether you're visiting in the winter, spring, summer or autumn, you can definitely find a type of trip here for you. You can also do things like museums, hot air balloon rides, medieval churches and music festivals year round. Number two, Girona. This is definitely one of my favorite day trips here in Spain. Girona is well known for the colorful stretch of houses that line the river Onyar. Highlights include the Girona Cathedral, the Old Quarter, the Arabic bars. Okay, okay. okay, okay. Hey, number three, Cadaqués. Cadaqués is super cute, quaint. It's like a whitewashed old fishing village on the cusp of the Costa Brava. And you'll find everything from walking trails on Cami de Ronda to art museums like the Casa Museo Salvador Deli. 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 It's a Deli museum. Number four, Montserrat. You'll find everything from Montserrat Abbey, Santa Cova, the Holy Cave, the art museum of Montserrat, all the way to hiking through the heaving hilltops. This place is definitely one for adventure lovers, and history and culture vultures alike. Ooh, number five, Tarragona. I have been back here more times than I can count on my hand. This is definitely one of my favorite places here in Catalonia and I'd recommend it for any time of the year. This is on the Costa Dorada, which is like the golden coast. In Tarragona, you can find everything from ancient Roman ruins all the way to beautiful, bliss-inducing blue water beaches. It's very, an I'd say it's a very affordable day trip from Barcelona. And you can easily get here with train as well. Ay, Dios mío, ¿por qué está pasando esto? I'm always doing my time. So in Tarragona, you can find a bunch of UNESCO World Heritage Sites alongside a lively port, beautiful beaches, great cuisine, and all of that. Ta -da. Okay, number six, Lloret de Mar. This is definitely one of the most popular day trips from Barcelona, especially for British and Irish people. I'd say that this is a very lively resort town. If you're looking for an all-inclusive type of stay, nice beaches, a lively atmosphere, clubs, bars, and all of those kinds of things, Lloret de Mar is definitely a great option for you. You can even find a bunch of hidden coves and turquoise waters. So even if you're just interested in a beach vacation, uh, this is a nice option. That being said, just be prepared to battle it out with the crowd, especially if you're planning to visit during the high season. Okay, number seven. Number seven, number seven, number seven. Everybody, number seven. Number seven, we are speeding through this list. F yeah, efficiency and more efficiency. Super efficiency, super. Ooh. Oh, que bonito por ahí. Me encanta. Anyways, number seven, Val de Nuria. So this is definitely one for nature enthusiasts and those of you that love to have an active holiday, want to get that adrenaline pumping, want to get that heart rate up and leave with, you know, two big sweat stains on your armpits. If you're a sweaty beast like me, then yeah, you can definitely expect that. Oh, gross. <laughs> Val de Nura is a picturesque valley here in Catalonia. It's tucked in the Pyrenees Mountains. It's situated in the municipality. Municipality? Municipia. Municipality? Municipality? I help me, English speaking people. Someone tell me how to say it in the comments below, please. Ah. 
what can you expect? You can see rugged mountain tops, narrow gorges, rushing rivers and alpine treetops. Okay, number eight, Sitges. Again, this is another one of my favorites here in Barcelona. You can navigate the charming back street, wind through the whitewashed corners and escape to the verdant hilltops. Even if you don't want to do sightseeing, you don't want to do beaches, you want something else, you could try a winery tour or even head up to Garraf Natural Park, which is one of my favorite hiking spots here in the city. In number nine, the name of this one sounds like Verga, Begur, Beger, Begur, Begir, Begur, Begir, Begur, Verga, Verga. Kind of sounds like Verga. <laughs> Todos los venezolanos ya lo saben. <laughs> Bueno, I'm not going to pronounce the name of this town because I don't know how to say it properly. So this beautiful town is bordering the Costa Brava. And here you can expect to see colourful colonial towns, turquoise hued waters, hidden sparkling coves and an 11th century castle that's perched all the way up on the hilltop. This town definitely has a unique feel to it and I definitely recommend visiting it in the off season. Or if you do plan on going in the summer month, go in early, claim your spot on the beach and yeah, just get in there and put your balls on the table and be like, no! This is my place. Bye. Wow! Number 10, Andorra. Most people don't even know where or what Andorra is. It's a, it's its own com ah, it's it's comp it's 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 Whoa! Okay, back on track, sorry. It's its own completely different country. It's nestled in the Pyrenees Mountains, right in between Spain and France. It's also tax-free, so you can find dirt cheap bottles of alcohol, makeup, clothes, shopping. Whatever you want to spend your money on, this is a really great spot to come to. This is definitely a beautiful spot for culture, history, hiking, skiing, rolling down a hilltop if that's what you want to do. Oh my god, that bus is so loud and it has stopped right here. So I might just stop this and go down the street. Hopefully you can't hear that massive mother bus but who knows number 11 number 11 Mambresa this is probably not one that you typically expect for a day trip from Barcelona that being said I think if you've come to Catalonia and you want a real taste of local living then Mambresa is definitely the best option this is a history packed town that has a very interesting mix of old and new you can find everything from modernist buildings to ancient architecture and the misty mountaintops of the Montserrat nature reserve number 12 Tosa de Mar this hotspot is located really close to Lloret de Mar. Again, it sits on the Costa Brava, so you can expect beautiful crystal clear waters, cute little fishing village vibes, and there's even ancient ruins scattered around. Uh, okay, number 13, Colonia Güell. Güell. Way, way. Suena como way, Mexicano, way, way. Bueno, okay. So this is a popular Gaudi attraction that's located just outside of Barcelona. So if you're coming here, you're coming for this attraction and maybe to make the most of your day trip, you can eat at a local restaurant nearby and sample classic Catalan cuisine. So here, obviously you'll find the UNESCO World Heritage listed Gaudi crypt. And this is definitely gonna be the main thing on your bucket list if you choose to come here. Well guys, I'm still sick. It's been like like two weeks of being sick and oh my god I just want to get better already <sighs> Come on, lemon and ginger water. Fix me already. This is number 14. Whoa, it smells really strongly like pee where I'm standing. F someone's definitely peed here last night. Oh, well, let's make this one quick. The medieval town of Vic. This is a gem. If you're a history lover, you're a culture vulture, you want to grab Spain's history by the balls. This is the spot for you. Vic sits right on top of the Meder River. Meda, Meda River. The Meda River. And it couples medieval architecture with a really unique unique ambiance. Ambiance. How do you pronounce that in French properly? Ambiance. Where? 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 Where ambiance? Je m'appelle Jessica. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my god, that massive bus is coming again. Passa, wait, passa. Ale. Number 15, Porta Ventura Park. Yeah! I love this one. This is not your standard day trip here in Barcelona. This is perfect if you've got kids or if you want to channel that inner child inside of you and it's even the biggest theme park in all of Spain. You can literally spend the entire day here. Just let loose, let that adrenaline run free, eat hot dogs, go crazy on the rides, run around, scream, take your clothes off, let your nipples free. I'm just kidding, you will probably get kicked out. There's even song and dance shows as well. You can just sit back and take in all the sound, the music,
music, the dancing, the crazy dance moves like this. Mm, mm, mm. They crump. I'm just kidding. They definitely don't crump. Maybe they do actually. During the summer, you can visit the aquatic park, which is a hit. There's also Ferrari land. If you're planning a trip to Barcelona and you really want to mix things up, this is a great way to let loose, have fun and just go wild. In number 16, Cardona. This sits right on top of the Cardona River and it's a really quiet and peaceful getaway from Barcelona. Number 17, Besalú. So this beautiful village sits just to the west of Figueras and it's on the foot of the Garrocha Nature Reserve. Some of the highlights include the Jewish baths and synagogues, the old Sephardic quarter, the Benedictine Monastery of San Pere and the Chapel of Santa Maria. Okay, number 18, Mont Blanc. Some of the must-see sites include the Regional Museum, the Medieval Walls, the Church of Santa Maria La Mejor and the Plaza Mayor. Number 19, the Benedes Wine Region. This is one of the best day trips in Barcelona if you are a wine lover, you want to explore the verdant hilltops, you want to get lost in those vineyards, add this one to your bucket list. You can find plenty of cava, which if you've never visited Spain, it's basically like the Spanish version of champagne. Number 20, Igualada. This spot definitely isn't on the typical tourist trail and I wouldn't say it's like 1000% you've got do it. That being said, there's a really cool experience that you can do here with Camins de Vent, which basically offers premium experiences with hot air balloon rides. If you want to mix up your time in Barcelona, I honestly could not recommend this activity more. Number 21, Garrocha Natural Park. In Espanol, Parque Natural de la Zona Volcánica de la Garrocha. 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 Garriba. Garriba muchacho. <laughs> This is actually the best volcanic region that's been reserved here in the Iberian Peninsula. It's actually home to 40-something well-conserved volcanoes, which just sounds crazy. This is a great spot to get immersed in the lush vegetation, learn a bit about the volcanic history here in Spain, and just get off the beaten track and away from the big crowds on the Costa Brava. Okay, number two. No, number two? Oh my god, where am I going? I'm going backwards. Number 22, Figuera. Yes, I think that I'd call this one my favorite day trip from Barcelona as a self-proclaimed artist freak I think that this spot is a must see and I'd say that the major highlight here is the Dali theater museum this is not your average art museum you can expect a really immersive experience as soon as you enter the door the art is just wild if you're into surrealism then this is a must see I've been to endless art museums here in Catalonia and I've never seen anything like this number 23 Calafonda this is the beach lovers hotspot Hola. <laughs> Buenos dias. This is a really local spot. If you want a local experience, you want to get off the beaten track and avoid all of the big crowds, this is the, definitely the spot for you. Number 24, Saragossa. I love this place. I think it's so underrated. Here you can find a really intriguing fusion of Moorish meets Renaissance architecture. Some parts are a little bit um, parecido, similar to como se dice, Granada and Seville in terms of architecture. You can find plenty of things to do. This is definitely a great escape and even in the high season, it's not too crazy with crowds. Number 25, let's wrap this up with the very last one. It's gonna be Madrid. This is a controversial one. If you're planning a trip to Spain and maybe you only have time for Barcelona, then this is a really good one just to get a taste of what's on offer in the capital city. You can get to Madrid in about three and a half hours on the fast train. The only thing is obviously you need to book ahead of time. And if I was you, I'd book the first train in the early morning and then come back at the very last one in the evening so that you can make the most of your time here. Just look online a couple months in advance and you'll be sweet. Why should you do a day trip to Madrid from Barcelona? If you've ever considered moving to Spain or you want to know what the differences are mainly between Barcelona and Madrid, you can get a slice of what's on offer here and while it is the capital city, you definitely can't do everything. However, you can see some of the highlights like Parque Retiro, Museo Prado. You can also do a tapas tour. So that's about it. These are the 25 best day trips from Barcelona. So thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.